Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you one of my most favorite fall recipes. It's called Instant Pot Stew. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. Those of you who don't have an Instant Pot, you can make this in the slow cooker too. I'll give you both recipes. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and push that little bell so you can get all the notifications every time I post. Now every Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe and today, like I said, is Instant Pot Stew. This recipe is so easy to throw together and it's actually pretty healthy. All right, I'm gonna head down to the kitchen and make this Instant Pot Stew. Here are all the ingredients you will need. So I'm gonna start off with the celery. I have three stalks of celery or one cup that I just chopped up, one cup or one whole onion chopped up, four or five small red potatoes, then we have one pound of carrots, I just did a bag, one cup of frozen peas, now one or two cups of beef broth. The recipe doesn't call for Lipton onion soup mix, but I love it. Then you have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper to taste. Woo, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding my meat to the bottom of my Instant Pot. Then just, you're gonna add everything on top. So I add my celery, my potatoes, my onions, I did all my big things first. So next I'm gonna add my carrots right on top and then my peas are gonna go right on top of the carrots. Now as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to my fill line so I'm gonna try and spread it down as much as I possibly can. Then I'm adding two cups of beef broth just because I want a little more liquid in there so it will pressurize a little bit better because this Instant Pot is full to the brim. Next, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. The recipe actually calls for one teaspoon, but I love Worcestershire sauce, so I'm doing one tablespoon. All right, and then you're gonna add your Lipton onion soup mix right on top. I probably should have added that before I added my beef broth, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put my salt and pepper on top too. You can add more when it's done cooking, but I just added a little. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix in my seasonings a little bit. You don't have to get too crazy because it will all pressurize. Okay, I kinda made sure everything was flat so the lid would go on. Make sure it's on sealing, not venting. I'm gonna go manual all the way up to 30 minutes. Now, I did a quick release because we were starving, but you could let it release on its own if you wanted. Now I'm going to take the lid off and you'll see just how amazing this stew looks. It smells so good. Now growing up, I don't know about you guys, but we always put ketchup on top of our stew and I still love it with ketchup today. Now if you haven't joined the Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, it's a great community there. If you have any Instant Pot questions, everyone in there is so kind and so helpful. It's a great group. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and push that little bell and I'll see you next Monday for another Instant Pot Monday. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.